What I have here is a Commodore 64 main board that I'm currently working on. Uh, this is a board number 250425. Uh, this is the one, uh, this is the version with the simplified oscillator circuit. So we have here is a 701 clock generator and we have 6569 VIC2 chip because this is a PAL version and this is the chip that was initially in the in the board uh, but of course it um, it was bad unfortunately uh, so besides uh, many other issues on this on this board week 2 chip was that so i got online and uh, tried to order a new one uh, well, new one um, other one uh, but I stumbled upon a good deal um, to buy um, VIC2 chips uh, that are numbered A565 so that are a little bit different so uh, these A565 chips are intended uh, for the short boards not for the long boards that we have here and uh, they are uh, uh, pin identical but uh, beside just one one small uh, thing and that is um, the original uh, week uh, week 2 chip that was on this board works on 12 volts and this one works on 5 volts only so but there are uh, ways to get around that like you see this one is um, 8565 uh, chip and it's already installed on, on this board so it's possible um, so if you want to do this um, easy way and a clean way uh, without any modification to the uh, main board I would highly recommend that you use adapter board made by Mr. Yari that is very easy to use and uh, like I said you don't have to do any kind of modification to the board itself uh, you just uh, uh, place uh, this little adapter that goes between the uh, socket and the week 2 chip and you can remove it and still have a, a main board in the original state but if you don't have a patience to wait, that's this little adapter to to uh, came in come in from the China um, like me. Then there is another way, uh, not so difficult, but it's um, more destructible. Uh, but uh, so this is how I did decide to do it so first of all we need to cut this 12, 12 watt rail that is on pin 13 here and the easiest way that i decide to do is cut it here so this is um, 12 volts uh, um, voltage regulator that generates 12 volts uh, voltage goes here and then uh, over this part of the PCB, over this little trace between these two vias uh, and underneath goes to the pin 13 so I decide to cut here there is nothing significant on, on the other side so you, do, you, you will not um, if you cut a little bit deeper you will not damage any traces or something like that and if I want to return to original week 2 chip and um, if I need to get uh, 12 volts rail back again I can simply <coughs> uh, place a small wire between two vias and it would be uh, okay so okay that's the first step is to cut these 12 volts and this is uh, uh, this is a, a, a smoothing capacitor of the 12 volts rail and this is smoothing capacitor for the 5 volts rail that comes on the pin number one here so uh, sorry last pin here so um, if we flip the board 
yeah let me check okay it's in the yeah so we i just place a little bit of crack okay if i remove this okay so what i did is connect um, this five volts rail here from this pin and from this smoothing capacitor directly to the uh, 12 volts smoothing capacitor here and then it goes directly to the pin number 13 like you see here and the part that was cut uh, from the upper side was this one so this this is um, 12 volts rail um, part so th this part was cut so this is just left in the air so that's it that's all need to be done and just place a little bit of uh, tape to keep the this longer wire not hanging around just like like that and there you go so the one thing that i've noticed that is different than uh, with the um, original um, with two chips um, that works on 12 volts um, rail uh, this 5 volts rail uh, with two chips are um, generates uh, less heat and that I suppose is a good thing and I didn't notice any any other problem with uh, generating images um, generating videos so any um, interferes or something like that so there's no problem at all so okay that's it that's what i have for you for today uh thank you for watching and goodbye